From Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader, this is ABC Action News. Hey there, happy Thursday to you. I'm Vanessa Ariza. Greg D has your full weather forecast coming up. But first, let's get you caught up with your ABC Action News headlines first. Pinellas Park Police are asking for your help in solving a deadly hit and run. They're asking you to look out for a white compact sedan or hatchback with severe front end damage. Officers tell us the driver of that vehicle hit a man around 8 o'clock last night and then drove off. They say the driver had sped up to try to make it through a yellow light. That victim was in a wheelchair and was crossing the street near US 19 and Mainlands Boulevard. That was not a crosswalk area. Unfortunately, he later died at the hospital. And this is the second deadly hit and run in Pinellas Park. Within the last week, officers say a gold car, possibly a Toyota, hit a woman Sunday morning. They are still searching for the driver of that vehicle as well. Dade City Police are searching for whoever is responsible for damaging the community garden and taking dozens of plants. The city's garden club says this incident happened sometime within the last week. They estimate that whoever did this caused about $1,000 worth of damage. If you would like to help, club leaders say that you can do so by donating to their club or by attending their Monarch Butterfly Festival on October 23rd. We have more details on the front page of abcactionnews.com. Just click on this story. Tonight, you are invited to hear stories of hope in the battle to end the opioid crisis. Narcotics Overdose Prevention and Education, or NOPE, of Hillsborough County is holding its 10th annual candlelight vigil at Hillsborough High School. It starts at 7 o'clock this, uh, this evening. And Good Morning Tampa Bay anchor James Tully will be the host. Overdose deaths rose more than 70% last year in Hillsborough County, so NOPE is trying to spread awareness. Well, great news. If you are in the market for a job and you want to work from home, home and kitchen decor giant William Sonoma is hiring and you could land a job in a matter of days. Tampa and Miami are two of their biggest growing cities and they are looking to hire 3,500 people between the two areas within the next six weeks. The best part, it is all work from home and it will remain that way. You can find a link to apply on our website or in the app. Apply in the rebound section of abcactionnews.com. Tonight, the Tampa Bay Rays will hit the field for game one of the American League Division Series against the Red Sox. And if you're heading to the TROP for game one tonight or game two tomorrow, you can get around for free. The city is providing a free shuttle service for you. It's going to start two and a half hours before the game, and it will run an hour after the game ends. A shuttle will arrive every five minutes at two different stops. We have the map to figure out where you can hop on and hop off on abcactionnews.com. Hopefully the weather will be nice. Greg has the answer to that. Uh, driving down to St. Pete, you may encounter some rain, though I think uh, by the time the game starts, a lot of the rain will be to the east of Pinellas County. Yes, that rain will cool us off, too, hitting 90 in Tampa, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, but then look at that temperature drop into the mid 80s. The reason for that after 2 o'clock, the rain chances way up towards 60%. So it's that 3 to 6 o'clock time frame when we'll be watching for some showers and storms. They will likely impact 275, the Gandhi over towards the Courtney Campbell during the evening drive. So it may take you a little bit longer to get home compared to how easy it is to get across the Bay Area earlier in the day. I'll be posting radar images and, of course, we'll keep you updated on those storms in the ABC Action News app. Vanessa. All right, Greg, thank you. Remember, you can now get your news 24 hours a day on our free streaming news channel. Just download the ABC Action News app on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Android TV, and Apple TV. Make it a good one.